again tonight. Uh, once again, there is talk about restarting that project to build two nuclear reactors. The VC Summer Nuclear Station in Fairfield County was abandoned some time ago. The effort failed from Santee Cooper and SCENG to build those reactors and left taxpayers paying billions of dollars for this plant that never actually generated power. News 19's Josie Frost tells us more. A Senate committee tasked with looking into the state's growing energy needs is considering the viability of two plants, a proposed gas plant on the Edisto River and restarting construction at the VC summer site. A report presented yesterday said that the site in Fairfield County is still in good condition. But those against the plan say that if we restart construction at the site, ratepayers can't be saddled with the bill again. There is a legitimate need for energy that's real. Lynn Teague is with the League of Women Voters. She says lawmakers need to protect ratepayers from the financial risk after a South Carolina law known as the Baseload Review Act forced them to pay up front for the failed project's costs. It, they don't deserve a profit if they ask us to take the risk. And we're not willing, I think most of us are not willing to take a risk again. After a visit to the site where two half-built reactors sit alongside the one fully functioning one in Fairfield County, a report from members of the governor's nuclear advisory council found that other than some overgrowth, there is no apparent degradation to the facility. Right now, there's no plans to restart construction, but lawmakers today discussed a study to look into whether it's possible. We we got to find out though as to whether it's whether it's even viable uh, that's I mean, and, and the licenses because that's a big deal with nuclear plants yeah but the you know where are we on the licenses what's still what's still available what's not available what would it cost to, to renew or to or to get stuff back in play I mean, lawmakers also discussed ways to incentivize residents and businesses to cut down on energy use and how to provide more resources to the government bodies that regulate these utilities According to the State House, Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX. Well, we did reach out to Dominion, which acquired SCE&G as well as Santee Cooper. Both utilities say at this time they have no plans to operate either of those two reactors at the Jenkinsville site.